Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Caroline. I'm back with a new video. This is my beautiful client, Miss Snow. Okay, she is just looking to pop her curly short bob wig on. Okay, um, so we're just gonna get started. She loves to goof around. Anyway, so the hair today is provided by Babe's Hair. I will leave all of Babe's Hair. Links in the description box if you guys want to check them out. The hair came in this green, neon green um, bag, and this is the block box. It came in, and it says Babe's Hair on the packaging, okay? All right, so this is the wig scraped out of the box, okay? It's a Brazilian virgin bob, okay? The texture is curly. It's a 12-inch length. Um, The color is a, like a natural um, black hair color. The cap size of this wig is a medium cap size, and this wig is supposed to be a 360 wig, okay? Um, the lace is going all around it, like the 360 will be. It does come with four combs inside of the wig, okay? I have two combs on each side, and then I have um, two combs, one in the front and one in the back. And, of course, it comes with adjustable scribes. And you can see it has the mesh uh, material in the middle of it the knots on this wig came bleach already you guys can see how the knots look okay this is a bleach knot so you don't have to worry about the hassle of bleaching your knots if you do decide to get this wig the hairline came pre-plugged and beautiful okay it has a natural hairline and the wig came pre-plug and pre-bleach so you don't have to go through the hassle of plugging this wig and you don't have to go through the hassle of um, um, bleaching the knots it's a 12 inch and the curls are beautiful it's more like a natural um, wave beach wave type of curls okay all right, so I'm just trying to wig on over her head and just making sure that the wig fits her head. Okay, and you can see this hairline is very nice. The wig is pre-plugged. Um, the knots are bleached. Okay, the curls are pretty. This is a beautiful wig. So I'm just putting it on, trying it on, making sure that it fits her hair. And then I'm taking my pair of scissors and cutting off the extra lace. After trying the wig on, the wig was still a little too big for her hair. And of course, she does not want any glue. She wants the wig just to be a glued ass wig that she can put on and take off whenever she wants, okay? So, in order to do that, I'm going to add the elastic band. So, I'm just measuring the elastic band um, from one side of her ear to the other side, and I'm pulling it. And I did ask her if it feels okay and she's comfortable and she said she was fine with the size um, that I measure on her head. Okay, so after I did the elastic band measuring, I went in her and I cut it off and I attached it to the wig. All right, so I did went ahead and customized the wig to match her skin tone, okay? So I tint the lace with a little bit of foundation powder, and then I added an elastic band. Bay hair, you need to send some elastic bands in your wig, okay? I had to provide the elastic band for her, okay? Um, after that, that was pretty much it to customizing. We are not doing glue. She just want to pop this on. 
So I went ahead and put the wig over her head. And also I did tint the stockings a little bit with the foundation powder. So it just blends naturally with her skin tone, okay? Once the wig was on correctly, okay, I just pour out a little bit of the baby hair in the front and I took my pair of scissors and cut off the baby hair. And then I gave her a middle part because she wanted a middle part. And then I took my Nairobi mousse and I added it to the curls and um, to the baby hair. And I went ahead and slicked down the baby hair. And once I slick down the baby hair, all right, you can see how natural that um, hairline looks, okay? This is not glued down, okay? It's just the uh, elastic band that's holding it, and then I use the Nairobi uh, mousse to slick down the baby hair. Now, I'm just taking my Cenex wrap just to wrap it to make sure that the baby hair laid down um, nice and flat so they can dry off. Now, while I wait for the baby hair to dry off, all I did was took a little bit of water in my spray bottle and spray down the hair just to give it um, a nice wet look and define the curls. And then I just went after that, I took my um, curling cream and then I just applied it to the entire head. That was pretty much it for this um, wig. Um, this short curly wig hairstyle. Just adding some finishing touches. I took my curling wand and just opened up the part a little bit, making sure that it's nice and flat um, in the middle. And then I took the blow dryer um, and make sure that the um, baby hairs was fine. I didn't want it to set her on a dryer with all that extra heat. So I just went ahead and blow dry it. And then I took the Cenex off. That was pretty much it to this beautiful, gorgeous, short, curly summer hair bob. Okay, check out Babe's hair. I will leave all the links in the description box for Babe's hair. Um, as always, thank you for watching. And I will catch you all in my next video. Bye.